What's up guys, welcome to day five of the Becoming a Better Hair Cutter in Seven Days Masterclass. Today, our focus is gonna be stationary and traveling guides. I'm gonna break down everything I know about them and also the easiest way to not lose your guide when you're cutting with a traveling guide. So the way that I started off this mannequin was I cut a balanced line from occipital bone down. So the way I'm gonna showcase a traveling guide and a stationary guide is I'm gonna cut one side of the head with a stationary guide and I'm gonna cut the other side of the head with a traveling guide and show you guys the differences. I'm also gonna break down how you do a traveling guide step-by-step step as we work the right-hand side. So one of the questions you might be asking is why would I use a stationary guide or a traveling guide? Well, stationary is when you wanna push quite a bit of weight. So we talked about uh, in our day four breakdown, different haircut shapes in our horizontal line. If you're creating a more closed or open shape, you're pushing weight towards the face or you're opening up the face and pushing weight away, a stationary guide works really well to just condense your cutting, cut the hair and have it push away from it. So anywhere you pull the hair to, it's gonna push the weight in the opposite direction. So if I want the hair to flow off the face, I'm gonna pull it towards the face and cut it there and then it's gonna push off the face. If I want it to flow towards the face, I'm gonna pull the hair back and cut it back here. And then when I release it, it's gonna to release towards the face. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a closed off shape on the one side, and we're gonna cut an open shape on the opposite side using a traveling guide. Okay, so to start off our stationary guide, basically everything's gonna come back to this one point. So when we're working with an entire section like this and I wanna cut a stationary guide, you can do it in a condensed way or you could do it section by section. So stationary guide doesn't mean condensed cutting all the time. Uh, what is condensed cutting? It's taking this entire section, bringing it back to this point and cutting it. Sometimes that's convenient, sometimes it's a little overwhelming to try to grab all this hair at once. I'm gonna show you guys an exercise to go through and cut this stationary but using multiple sections and then you can make the decision if you have a fine hair guest or somebody that you can really control all that hair you could always condense it and cut it that way as well so what we're going to do to begin our stationary guide is we're just going to cut the guideline i'm going to use the bottom part that i cut as a guide and we're going to take our first section here nice vertical section comb everything out of the way nice and clean work everything from the root and then if it doesn't stay over, it's actually staying over pretty nice, but you could always slide your clip up underneath to hold everything in place. And then I've got my section here. So now I'm gonna bring everything out to me. My guide comes from underneath and I'm gonna cut my stationary guide. Now working with curlier hair, this is a little extra added tip for this video, but I'm not gonna pull much tension at all because I don't wanna stretch that curl out everything will just kind of shoot back if I do that. So we'll cut a nice layered section and then I'm gonna continue through. So because that's stationary, now that guide is not going to move. I'm gonna bring everything back to that point. So here, next vertical section, bring it over directly to that center back and this is where I'm going to cut. Now because it's stationary, what's happening? Every single section that I take as I move along the head is getting longer and longer because it takes more time for it to reach back into the back. So that in turn is giving me more length into the front. There you go. And then another section and we will finish out this side. Key thing is to make sure you can always see your guideline through your section. And then the last bit, a lot of this hair won't even reach back here. So I'm just gonna comb it and check it and we are good to go. So you can see the horizontal line that we've created is extra weight and length towards the front. So when I comb this out, you can actually see that line work its way down. So it gets nice and heavy and gets longer. So now I wanna show you guys the difference between this stationary guide and a traveling guide on the right-hand side. All right, so we're gonna be moving vertically just like we did on the left-hand side. The biggest difference is we're actually going to be moving along the head shape, creating a round haircut. So I'll release the right-hand side and I'm gonna take another small vertical section. A good rule to follow when cutting with any guideline is it should be 75% old hair to 25% new hair. So that new hair should be a really small, thin section 
especially when you're traveling, and the old hair should be 75% of that. So I bring that into my hand, and I should be able to see my guide cleanly through this section. Anytime you are traveling a guide, I wanna pull that guide to the next section, or at least halfway to the next section. Um, you don't wanna create a ton of over direction, but as I'm moving across the head shape, I wanna make sure that that guide is coming along with me. If I was always combing my new section towards the guideline, then it would constantly be getting longer and I'd end up with that longer length in the front by the end because I'd just consistently be pulling it back uh, towards it. So make sure, you can always scoop up the hair, make sure you got a nice clean section, but your last comb should be moving that guideline over top of the new section. So each time, moving the guide over top of the new section, just like that. And again, we're working with curly hair, so I'm being nice and light with my tension as I pull it out. Now, I bring 75% of that old section with me, and I grab 25% of a new section. Comb it, get it organized in my fingers, and then back comb to move it over top of the new section. Just like that. Go. So now, as I look at the weight horizontally, I see no extra length happening. It should be a nice consistency all the way around the head. I should see a consistent line. 25% of what I just cut Bring 75% with me and grab 25% new hair. Just like that, organize it and then scoop it under. Biggest difference I see when I'm teaching classes is these little details. People just skipping over them because either they don't understand it or they're rushing through. Try not to rush through anything that you're doing. Nice clean sections and you'll get a nice clean result. Organize, keep this out of the way. If you need to clip it, you can. Slide your clip up under, keep it out of the way. My last comb should be over top of the section, not over here, over top. Scoop under. Again, nice, consistent, horizontal line. All right, we're gonna finish up these few sections here, and then I'll show you guys the difference. Now, when we look at the edge right here, this is where the head starts to move away. So right around this curve. If I bring this all back into this same section, if I'm impatient and I bring everything back, what's gonna happen is, as soon as I cut this, I'm gonna get extra length into the front. If you want that, then that's okay. But if you're not looking for that, then it's a mistake and you're gonna have to go back in and cut it. So let's go in and we'll do it right the first time. Grab, again, 75% of that old section, 25% new, you can see there's just a little bit left in that corner. Scoop it up, backhand, and cut. There we go, and then our last section will be this portion right here. I wanna make sure it's right over top of where it lives. There we go. So you can see the huge difference between a stationary guide, which built up all this weight, pushed it towards the face, could close off the face a little bit, and then that more consistent stationary guide that works its way all the way around the head, being nice and consistent and balanced and open shape uh, throughout. So I hope that that's a good visual for you guys. You can see this weight line drop right here. That is the stationary guide that's everything pushing. So this has everything to do with both the horizontal shape and also the vertical shape. So as I was cutting this vertically, right, I was creating a horizontal line uh, on both occasions. So you can see the big difference here. The horizontal line that we created here was a nice round line following the head shape. And then on this side, we had a horizontal line that goes out and expands more to create more of that triangular shape. 
Tomorrow, we got day six. We're gonna work on scissor over comb technique. This is our last scissor technique of the masterclass. So I'm super excited to share that with you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.